Hey guys, today we're doing a very fun video, um, a much needed video. My vanity, I don't even want to show you guys. This is where she's at right now. Not to mention this was meant to be my makeup drawer and now it's just my junk drawer. So today we're going to be redoing my vanity and it's going to be so fun. Also, before we even start the video, I do want to apologize for not posting for the past two weeks. Um, I had COVID for a week and then I went away with my boyfriend. But we are back. We're going to do two videos this week to make up for it. And today, this is the task at hand. I'm scared. Um, I don't know what's in this drawer. I'm worried there's something living in here, like genuinely terrified. First things first, I want to start chucking out all of the makeup that I do not use. And then I'm going to go to Kmart and grab those little containers. And I also have a fun click and collect order to pick up as well. So I have some new products I'll be trying today. I also really don't like, I'll show you guys. So this is my mirror. And the reason that I put it up on these little drawers was because it was too short. So if I take it off the drawers, it's going to be too short to the point where I'll have to be like, bending down to be able to see myself in the mirror does that make sense so i need to put it on something so i'm thinking that today because i hate these drawers they're clear and so you can really just see all of like the dust and the gross stuff i just really hate that and also they're really thick so they take up quite a lot of space this way so there's not as much like desk space so i might get a stand to actually put the mirror onto instead of using like drawers and then everything that's in these drawers is going to go into a little drawer right here. First thing is first. I have a bunch of makeup also hidden in like a different part of my room. And it's literally dusty. So I'm going to see what I really don't need anymore. I've got a foundation that looks way too dark for me. I reckon for the odd occasion that I need a color like this, I'll keep it because I'll never buy another one. And then I have two of the exact same lip glosses. And then I also have a red version of that lip gloss. And this is a lipstick that I got from Kmart. Looks like a tampon. Also completely forgot that I just had a random drunk elephant shampoo. Okay, so this is where we're at with everything that we're going to be keeping then this is the drawer looking absolutely disgusting so i'm proud to say that i did throw away a lot like this bag is pretty full so i feel like i got rid of quite a lot of stuff that i was just not going to use okay, let's figure this out let's put everything to the side let's clean out the drawer and then after that we're going to be able to kind of online shop and see what we need and how we're going to sort everything out because now that i have everything in front of me i feel like it's easier to sort of navigate and see how much of everything i need okay let's go okay I'm checking out some different stores because Kmart has nothing. I've heard the Target is selling a lot of Kmart stuff now. Like this little turntable. So there's two tiers and they spin. And so I feel like this would be really cute for my like skincare. Even like this shelf, it's like a three-tiered shelf. They don't have this one. Look, I might just have to go in. Like I genuinely have no luck online. I might just have to see what they have and maybe try and find something there. But what I do want to do quickly is calculate how big drawers I need. Not drawers, like the containers. I literally cannot do math. Like, Okay, hear me out. So this is the set. There's nine containers, right? So if I can just find a couple more separate ones that aren't part of this pack, maybe just some large ones and see how that goes. I like the set, but there's just so many little ones that I feel like I can't really get that much use out of the tiny ones. Because what do you really put in there? Like, there's not that much to put in there. Two of these containers. Okay, I think I kind of know what I'm getting now. I'm genuinely dying. It's 12.15 and I still haven't gotten an email that my stuff is ready. And now I'm on the Taco Bell website because I'm so hungry. I still haven't eaten. I'm currently editing this video and realized I literally have not explained anything properly. What the whole point of my dilemma here was, was that I had a click and collect order that I ordered from the same store that I am getting the containers from. I didn't want to go in twice once my order was ready. So basically I was waiting for the email to come through. This is why I was getting the food now and then going to Kmart later to grab the stuff because I didn't want to go twice. Because I'm lazy, okay? Thank you. The thing that's annoying me now is that if I go now and my click and collect isn't ready, then I'm going to have to come all the way back and then go back. And that just seems like such an effort to me. I know I sound so lazy. Listen, I'm gonna go drive through and I'm gonna get some food. Hello friends, we are in the car. It's hot. I'm trying to decide whether I want Macca's or Taco Bell. I think I've just decided that I'm gonna go to Kmart later because I can't be bothered and I don't like going places myself. So I'm gonna wait for my boyfriend to come home. Also, have some beef with Macca's at the moment. Donald's is not letting me go into my app, which is frustrating for two reasons. One, because it's just annoying. I like to see what 
offers I have and things like that. And two, I had like 20,000 points accumulated, which means how many free coffees is that? Like eight free coffees that I could have gotten. It's so hot. Okay, I'm going now. Taco Bell Pepsi Max. You know what I love? I love thin straws. I don't know what it is about that, but drinking soft drink out of a thin straw, magical. And I got some chippies as well. Mm. I really like Taco Bell chips. I like the seasoning. And then I got a Chipotle something burrito. I'm sorry not to be dramatic, but that is so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna go scoff this down while I watch an episode of Lucifer. That was so good. Like, that bite was so good. I can't wait. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, we are in the car. Oh my god. So cute. We are going to the store now. Ethan just came back from work. Quickly went to the Kmart and then we'll come back. I want to look through the beauty section because I want to see if they have anything else that is new that I can try. Let's go! Okay, we got most things. We have our little Sol de Janeiro dupes in here. Then in here we have the drawers and everything like that. The only thing is that they did say that everything was in stock online, but nothing was actually in stock in store. So I had to improvise and get some different things. Hi hey guys, we are back from the shops. So I have everything that I got in my click and collect order here. So it's like the little Sol de Janeiro dupes. So I'll tell you guys what I got and do a little haul, but I did do like a proper video on TikTok about all the products and tried them on and stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, that's on my TikTok, but I'll just show you guys what I got. So this is the Coconut Waves one. This is meant to be the dupe for Sol de Janeiro's discontinued scent. Never actually got to try the original one, but this is what the little dupe looks like. So this is the lotion. And I also got the little body spray, which looks like this. And all my nails, they're stained from all the nail polish that I've been having on, so just ignore that. And then it also came with the little lip balm as well. A little spoiler alert, I didn't love that one, honestly. I did really like this one. This is the dupe for their 62 cents, so I got this as well with the spray and the body butter. And this came with a little lip balm as well. I do really like this one. I think it's quite nice. It's not exactly the same. I'd say it's more of like a diluted version of the original, like it smells like it but it's a lot less strong. And these ones I loved. I feel like they smell a lot like the real thing. I actually really like these ones. They're definitely my favorite. And then I'll show you guys everything else that I got for my actual room. So I have a couple of containers. I measured out my drawer, so I hope that these ones fit, but I have one really big one. I'm thinking this will probably be for like my hair tools and things like that. And then I have two of these medium-sized ones, which just kind of mix up one of the big ones. So I thought this was a good way to just divide it up a little bit more. And then I have three little ones. This was literally like the only other organizational thing that they really had in stock. They really didn't have much today. But yeah, that is everything that I got. So I'm just gonna kind of try and put everything together, see what I can do, see what I can organize. I swear it's been like an hour. This is where we're at. Ethan put this thing together for me. What a legend. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out where everything goes because look how much stuff I have. Anyway, I'm in the process. Um, I'll update you guys and give you the final tour. Guys, we are done. This is the final reveal and vanity tour, I guess. So this is what she looks like. I've moved the mirror into the middle so that I have more space on each side because before I literally just had like this much space and that was it and i've taken it off of the little shelves and i thought that it would be way too short but it's actually a good height so i'm not going to worry about getting a monitor stand or anything like that to pop underneath it i feel like it's actually a pretty good height especially because a lot of the time i'll lean in anyway to do my makeup so i feel like it's at a pretty good height and then this is the little stand area on the top here i have most of my skincare i have my setting sprays up there I have my thermal water, my sunscreen, my spray sunscreen, and then the skincare that I use on the daily. And then I just have my body mist and some toner and a little bit of hand sanitizer up there as well. And here I've got my Laneige lip masks. I've got some body butter. I've got my little dew drops and some sunscreen as well and just a little candle as well. And then over here I've got all of my brushes. And I've got my little pens in this vase. These are like my little flower pens. 
And I love these because I can journal here as well. I have heaps of space to do that now. I have a little candle up here. I have some more body mists. And then at the back there, I've got most of my jewelry. I feel like I've got everything pretty well displayed. Everything I'd use on a daily. And now let's move on to the actual drawer. Okay, so at first, it doesn't look incredibly organized. But in my head, it's probably the best it's going to go. So on the back here, outside of the drawers, I have just some random stuff. I have like a body lotion that I can't fit anywhere. My cellar water. And this section here is like my little hair section. So I have my hair brushes down here, I have my hair mask mousse, leave-in conditioner. And this drawer over here is where I keep all of my lashes and all of my lash supplies. And then all of my nail stuff as well, so I have all of my nail polishes as well here. And then this is kind of like my little extra area. A couple of serums here, and then I've got my actual primers in here. Back here I have my facial wipes, my sunglasses and my cork clips. Still probably not the best it could get, it could use more organising, but whatever. And this is my giant tub of lip stuff like tell me why i actually have a million lip products it's insane okay this right here is my little eye section and my beauty blenders i guess so i just have a bunch of brow and lash products in here and then to the side i've got most of my face products all of my like contours and highlights blushes and then i've also got my little palette up here and then in the last drawer i've got all of my powders my bronzers, things like that, and all of my foundations as well. I still can't believe how much stuff I have even after I've thrown out literally half of my makeup. That is the vanity completely done and I'm so excited and it looks so pretty. Look at that. It looks so much better than before. It was disgusting before, so I'm very happy. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye!